23,000 with me, Squawk, and yep, back on this game, it's back in a slightly better resolution now, thanks to my PC, and yeah, we're back in the game. So, I am actually playing a new version of SimCity 3000, I'm no longer playing the on-disc version since it seems to be really, really unreliable, because it kept crashing and stuff. So we're actually now playing the version on GOG, which emulates it a little bit, and really it's just the same old SimCity 3000. It's not the UK edition anymore, but to be honest, there isn't really any difference between the UK edition and Unlimited, so I don't even know why it was called the UK edition, I guess, to make the us British people feel really special, but hmm, whatever. Anyway, we're going to jump back into this game. Obviously, since I am on a new version, all my old cities have stopped, so fourth time's the charm on this game. Let's make a city, and this time we'll make it last. So, we're going to be jumping into a real city terrain. I'd, I've already pre-picked which one I'm going to do. I'm not going to do London, of course, because we've already been to London. So, we're going to do a different map. Today, we're going to do Sydney, Australia. I don't really have any connection to this city, but I just literally picked one at random and Sydney won, so it's a good excuse as any. So we're going to be using the American architecture set, not really an Australian one, so we're just going to stick with the American one. I'm going to basically stick with what the game suggested I use, um, which is this terrain, these trees, and then these uh, these houses, but we're also going to give our city a name, we're going to call it Sydney, and my mayor name will be... Um, Squawker because I'm not creative. Now we can also pick our difficulty as per usual. We, we have a choice of easy, medium, or hard. Um, I am actually, I mean, I know it sounds a bit shitty, but I'm actually going to stick with easy because this 50 grand does disappear quite quickly setting up your initial funds. I mean, on SimCity 4, it's more smarter to play on hard because then you only get 100 grand starting capital, whereas on easy you get half a million in starting. But I'm going to sit with easy because 50 grand really does disappear quickly. Um, what's more, we're going to keep uh, disasters on auto budget, just means we'll see our budget at the end of every year, so then that's actually a good place to know when to stop an episode. So, there's going to be disasters, there's going to be the opposite of disasters, good things. So, yeah, let's just jump right into it. And I don't need time to make any of my own buildings to import into the game, but oh well. So, I'm, I'm actually not even sure if the architect was included with GOG. I'll have to look that one up, actually. But let's just jump into a game and start a new city. So, Sydney, 1900 to whenever this game ends, which is about 2050, because that's when the final unlock is. So, let's just jump in back in. Right. And today's llama suggestion, our first one is make sure all zoned areas have power and transportation or they won't grow. Zones must have water in order to reach their maximum density. Thank you, llama. So, yep, yeah, we do need to make sure that our first few zones will have water and uh, roads and also power. And yeah, here's, here's Sydney, so I'm guessing this is what Sydney looks like when there aren't any buildings around. So we've got two sides of the river, so we could easily split stuff up, so we could have an industrial half and then a residential and commercial half, or we could have the industrial stuff shipped to a corner and then we can use the commercial areas, the bay side. We could do a lot with this actually. But we do need to pick where we're going to lay down our city, and I like to always start with my power plant. And we can either go for coal or oil. We're going to go with oil, I know it's a bit more expensive, but. They, they do, they are a little less polluting than coal, and they provide more power, so you know what, we can go about. Now, where are we going to put industrial stuff? Are we going to stick it on one half of the city, or should we just, like, stick it somewhere? Um, I think we're going to be better off having it to size. I would like to try and keep the bay to the commercial area, but I will probably have, like, a little industrial port here. I mean, it's all coming to life right now, so... I'm going to stick our power plant right here, right in these lovely green fields here. And obviously, I'm going to just around the roads so and then we can access to it in case it catches fire because that's always a risk really with power plants I mean, seriously road that shit up or you be ready for the consequences and then we'll just build a few roads that are coming out not too far out of course and one uh, road that makes a neighbour connection as well hopefully I'm not really seeing I'm not, I can't make a neighbour connection right now which is a bit odd uh, I think I actually have to be in play to make a neighbour connection um, but I do want to make sure we're connected up to our neighbours who are... Oh no, sorry, West Dame actually doesn't have any land, right? West Dame is actually on the other side of the sea. This is an accurate map of Australia, as you can see. So, in terms of getting freight out of the city, it's really... We're going to need a seaport up uh, soon, since we have all this lovely land here. But the seaport's expensive, so we're going to save that for later. And I am in pause mode right now, but we are going to bring the city to life in a minute. We're just going to lay down our initial stuff before we get going. 
So let's also bring out our power lines. We're going to decide where we're going to allocate our first residential area. This is just going to be a nice little low density uh, residential area. So I'm thinking we'll put some in the hills up here. I mean, it's a bit of a commute for Sims, and I know it's a bit hilly, but we could we could turn a good land value over from this. P people will pay to live in scenic hills, so we just zone around this nice little forest. Obviously, the hills are fucking up the uh, zoning. Oh, they're fucking up quite a lot, actually. Right, let's get creative with those rows and see what we can do. So, put some rows down here. That's already gone wrong. That's a bit of a pain in the ass. There we go. Already starting to look a little bit better. Not really much better. I'm trying. It's not that easy. And actually, you know what? I know I'm gonna turn the grid off just because it looks really nice. But I mean, I know it's gonna make my life harder now, actually. But um, yeah, sometimes I, I like things to look nice rather than functional. Yeah, for me sometimes. Anyway, this is starting to look a little bit better. It's actually still looking like absolute garbage, but this is just to be a nice little out of the way residential area where you know Sims can live and do their living. Things. Might be able to even squeeze in a few more tiles. No, we can't. Oh well. Might be able to squeeze a few on the side, actually. Let's just see what we can do. Um, we'll get a few in at least. Yeah, that'll do. But I don't like that one there. There we go. Alright, a tiny little residential zone in the hills. This will be like an out, out, outlying community then or something in Sydney. Because I mean, we've, still, we've got a, quite a bit of land to play with at least. So we'll bring a road down here, though, so we have a access to the industrial zone just so we can get in a little bit of well obviously we need to get the commuters in, not a little bit we need to get all the commuters in here so there we go and then last but not least we need to get access to water so a pumping station uh will, will suffice so we'll just stick one down not right not right here where the key side's going to be because that's what's going to get polluted quite fast well actually what kind of water is this is this salt water or fresh water oh, it's fresh water that's good with salt water, we won't be able to pump it. We can't exactly give our sim salty water, otherwise, we will probably be sad. <laughs> facing a few health and safety issues there. But we can set up our pipes at least, so we'll make sure we've got the water flowing to the industrial zone. So there we go. Just a nice little bit of water, and then a little bit to the uh, residential zone, which is going to be a little bit harder because of all the hills. So we'll have to just play our cards right. We'll lay the pipes under the road, which I'm not doing anyway, but that would actually be a smart strategy just to make sure everyone gets a little bit of H2. Everyone should have some water from that. We also make sure that we linked up power lines to the uh, station itself. So, yep, that's it. There we go. Right, everything's linked up then. So, we've got the basic startings of our city. Some residential areas for the peeps to live and some industrial zones for the people to work. But what if the people want to go shopping? Well, we could use some commercial then. We could maybe start lining the, this nice little community. We could probably just pop, pop down just a few little commercial uh, commercial places here. Just a few shops. I mean, like the local shops. We'll build a full-on, full-fat commercial district maybe a bit later in the game. But here, like just a little shopping outlet for the, for the Sims to frequent and have a browse around, you know, browse some products and all that stuff. Let's just, uh, oops, uh, let's just raise some here. There we go. Alright, that looks good. That well, actually doesn't look very good. But you know what, this is a start at least. This is a start. Just gotta wait for the industrial zone to kick in soon. And then, yeah, things will happen. I mean, people are already turning up to the city. So we already have a, pop we have a population of zero, but people are already here. I mean, we've got people walking around. Just doing their walking things, you know, they're, they're, they're probably the people who are rich and they're looking for land and they're thinking, you know what, while the planets aren't aligned just yet, this is going to be such a good place to build that amazing factory which will produce loads of money for Squawker. And there's also our uh, oil plant that's already up and running. A little bit of power is being eaten by the uh, Watt pumping station which is, should be a way of pumping now. Yes it is. So, and there we go! Life! First few uh, little factories being placed down, such as the glass box. It'll make money somehow, I, I promise it. And hey, we actually got another business, Licks Ice Cream. You have to walk across a field to get to it, but hey, it's worth it. And the first few houses are coming. One's already done, actually. And above the round pool, which is actually what it's actually missing here, a garden. Because the land value here is actually medium, so we're actually going to bring in a one or two well-to-do sims in this area because of a nice land value. And you know what? We could encourage this maybe by planting a few more trees in this area because you know what? Nice area, this like these nice little hills. Very shady trees just to shield yourself from that hot sickness sun. 
I mean, Australians like it hot, don't they? So, there we go. Let's make this more, but nice, a little bit more desirable. We can even give this community a little name if we wanted to. We can call it, Aussie uh, Hills, that'll work. So, driving is a pleasure in Sydney, by the way, says Carburetta Magazine. Uh, I have to be careful if a like, sure, a forest fire doesn't break out, but otherwise then we're going to have a few problems. But there we go. Nice little place where my workers can live, where my workers can reside, and go work in their shithole factories. But neighbours want juice by the way, but Sydney isn't plugged in. We're generating a lot of excess power because, you know, we've got more power plants than we really need. In fact, we have so much extra power, I suggest we sell some of it and earn the city some money. I've heard that our neighbours need power, maybe we need to buy it for us. All you have to do is hook up a power line from one of our power plants to the border. And I'll bet you someone will contact us about making a deal, says Gus Odman, our utilities advisor. And he even thinks we've got enough water to spare, enough to sell. Well, we do have a lot of water slobbing about, but you know what? You notified me about power first, Gus, so you know what? Yeah, you know what? Let's sell some power. That'll, that'll be good to... Bringing some capital so then we can stand on our own two feet financially. So, yeah, let's do that. By the way, our population now is totaled 38, but my I'm not getting a power plant connection here, which isn't right. Maybe I need to do it on flatter ground. Um, if there is some flatter ground, can I do a. No, right. I think because of a hilliness of this area, we're having trouble, trouble making these power lines connect. But then again, I've just flattened this terrain here a little bit, so no, it's not happening. Maybe in the north where it's a bit flatter. Let's just have a look. Uh, yay! There we go. 2,000 grand and we can make a power. Well, you know, not 2,000 grand, by the way, that's a lot. But uh, yeah, 2,000 simoleons and we've made ourselves our first power connection. So we can sell some of our utilities, bringing some extra cash. So we'll see if whoever. Whoever lives in that city nearby can uh, bring bring us uh, some money. So let's just make sure our power lines are hooked up to our own power lines. And there we go. That city is now connected to my grid, and I will I will open the taps or the wires if they, if I see fit. Let's also just get a few extra roads going in this town. By the way, I don't want to build it. I don't want to like over road. But just want to make sure these guys are getting their chance to develop because we're not. They, 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 they were having yeah. See, poor transportation. We need to make sure we've got. Our transport going and that just kind of makes this area a bit better but look at this this is a lovely looking area now, actually you know what have we got growing here we've got some walton dream houses elm street uh L lm station that's a stupid name but yeah nice little houses nice little gardens nice little commercial area nice quaint area i'm happy with that area now we've also got a uh, well the industrial department is growing slowly middle aged age is a hoax by the way declares a study it turns out to be a bad posture after all so there you go if you're middle aged you're not middle aged you're just not standing up straight anyway who's the neighbor to the north by the way jefferson field well maybe they'll uh, ask us for money soon hopefully well not asking us for money they're gonna give us money by the way, Sims also know where the police are. They're also worried about the lack of fire coverage. Um, I don't know if we can afford that. We'll have a look. We'll have a look when we're when we review the budget at the end of the year. But in terms of growth, I do think we do need to probably keep expanding out our residential designs. I mean, we have this nice little uh, area here, but that isn't going to be enough to sustain a city that's got a thousand people in it. But we're going to need more if we want to make this town great. So while I have people living on these hills, I think it's time maybe we expand the suburbs a little bit. Not not from the top of a hill though. We're gonna we're gonna build at the like next tier of a hill because I can see that this hill goes up and down a little bit. I mean, if we bring our grid line back, we can see it isn't quite even here. But I'm gonna just try and expand a nice little area like so. There we go. It's looking nice. This is laying down the foundation once more, and this can be a nice little mix of residents. Well, actually, it's gonna be all residents because we're actually out of demand for commercial people don't want more shops here we need more people living here we need more people working so we can, uh, can start earning the money that they need to uh to bring that in unfortunately it looks like the land isn't even enough for it for it to re for this to take off so we'll have to put in a few roads maybe down the middle such as this and we'll pop in a few more trees because you know what the trees i think are doing us some good to say they boost the land value of this area so more trees this nice forest hill and, uh, a lot of ice cream parlors open in this area by the way 
I guess we like ice cream in this area. I think this would also be a good place for some more low density development. But for now, yeah, that's a good layout for a road actually. Look, look about all the people are moving in by the way. They're coming in, they're moving in. These people want this land. This land is worth money or it's not worth money. I don't know. People want to live in this town. I mean, this, this, they, I mean they're, they're smart cookies. They know this is a town with potential for growth. So get in while you can. Especially now that I've just uh, given you flowing water to make sure you're staying hydrated. So there you go. And I'm just going to keep on spamming out the trees. I like the trees. provide you with oxygen and eat up all that nasty pollution that I'm going to be spewing out of my industrial area. It's a win-win for everyone. I, I'm, I'm counterbalancing my city's weaknesses by giving it a new strength, which is true. There we go. And hopefully more people are going to start moving in. So we are starting to get to the end of uh, 1900. And we're about to hit the 8th month of the year, which is August. So we'll see what's carrying on there. But for now, this is looking good. I've got commercial, residential, and a growing area of industrial interest. However, we still do have quite a bit of residential interest in the city. We do have all of this there, and by the way, cab fares are going up, so just be ready. I didn't even know we had cabs. I mean, it's 1900 by when we have quite a few cars going around in the area, which is, quite, I mean, we even have vans. I don't think vans, uh, oh, bulldozers as well, don't forget the bulldozers. Yeah, we're doing very, we're, we are very technologically advanced for 1900, aren't we? Oh well, who do I care about? I mean, well, what do I care really? I mean, we're still, we're still doing all right. We know we're bringing in, we're bringing in decent amounts of money. Sydney's boasting an excellent uh, water system, by the way, because yeah, we are. So you know what? I figure we, well, should we expand our residential area? Of course we should. We need to do that, bring in more people. We've doubled our population up to now 2,300. Um, but I don't want to exactly build residential areas here at the bottom of this hill because I, I, I might expand the industrial area this way which is so I can just ruin everything here because I'm going to be counterproductive as well. But we could always start a new residential area further up the coast but it might be a more dense residential area but I don't think we're ready for that yet. We need to, we need to be able to have enough low density before we can start really thinking about up in the density. So you know what? Let's build a hill here. Oh, actually, I forgot. I have this big corner of new slime. I shouldn't have done that. But, oh well, just here. Because I can see that the terrain here is somewhat flatter. So, just grab this land here. And this will be another little uh, suburb here. And I'll spam out a few trees. So I'll just make it look nice. But there we go. I'm making the bacon. It's a curve of a very sharp turn. It's brilliant to kill all the wannabe street races. See, Squawk thinks ahead again by uh, killing street races. Easy, 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 like that. Let's make sure that we're all zoned up like so. There we go. Looking pretty. Make sure we're getting that water flowing. There we go. Might just add an extra bit of roadage here. There we go. Now everyone should be able to be captured by my cars and... I've got the impression that I like the trees. These trees are good. They are making this area pretty, and you know what? That means we can also demolish some of these power lines and get these monstrosities poking above my trees. I'm making the town look nicer and nicer and tweaking. Let's get rid of that bit of power Let's just go. Just turn that into like a little uh, EMP. So you know what? Just go. Uh, Better already, then we bang, and there we go, right, power flowing, things getting better, we can get rid of that little bit as well, because we're not really selling any power to anyone, by the way there's no schools yet, that should be something I should really get on top of really, but I'm more interested in getting getting other things working first, let's make sure we have an, we have an economy going first, you know, we're not going to play Tropico, why does only play fast and loose with the economy here? I'm going to make sure we can afford something before we build it. But it's also high time we started expanding the industrial area as well before this year is out. It's already filled up and it needs to get bigger. So let's just expand it a little further this way. We're going to expand towards the sea. I think that's going to be the wisest tactic. Just to avoid the pollution blowing all the way over into my lovely little ground. I mean, look at that. That is so nice. It's so lush and green. Nice little houses growing. 
I'm building the Australian dream, if Australians do dream. Anyway, let's build some more light industrial areas here. I mean, we'll, we'll make these denser and denser to get further. For now, we're just going to make sure we're going to be uh, nice and sustainable. Let's also get the water flowing, which we already have. So this, this area is already ready to go. And as you can see, sims are already moving in. But you know what? Let's just build it like this. There we go. Making sure we're getting maximum transport coverage here. Extinguish all smoking materials, by the way. Sydney does need a fire station. I'll attend to the needs of my citizens next year. This is the year of initial development. This is where we're going to put our seaport, by the way, if I haven't mentioned it 50 times this episode. We're going to have to start thinking about that in the future. We do have access to the seaport already. We don't have access to airports yet, exactly, but we do need to think about building a seaport at some point, which needs to be... Uh, it need, has some key requirements to seaport, which we can read about in another episode. Jefferson Field, by the way, has caught the bait. They're proposing a power deal, and it's sparking the mayor's interest. Well, they have, so hello. Oh, it's Duke Nukem. Probably her, but that'd be unprecedented. Jefferson Field. Seems like we've become a burgeoning metropolis of steel overnight. But now we need more power, and I'm hoping you'll sell it to us. Are you ready to make a deal immediately if you agree to these terms? Jefferson Field will buy 1,000 megawatts hours of power for you, and we will play, pay you 12 steel submarines. Since we will be counting on you to supply this power, if you terminate the steel without our consent, you will be charged a penalty of 300 submarines. Do we have a deal? 12 simoleons is a bit of a shit price, dude. Like, seriously, 12 simoleons? Not that desperate for cash. I mean, come on, that is a ripoff. Uh, but the financial advisor says, well, that might seem reasonable. Agree to return, Mr. Sue, before Jefferson Field withdraws the offer. And I guess, really, I did build this power line, this massive power line with the intention of getting the deal. Alright, you drive a shit bargain, but I'll take you $12. Uh, to do business with you, Mr. Walker. Thanks to you, the lights of steel of my city will continue to burn brightly. Alright, that's cool. By the way, my sims can't spell. That seems to be the case of everything. But it is now! It is 1901. A year has passed, and what have we done in a year? Well, we've grown, of course. We've got a nice little forested suburb at the top of a hill, which is going to shit. Right, we'll have to look at why that's happening. And we also have our industrial area, which is obviously growing. So, next episode... Why is this area going to garbage and um, other things? But that's all for today's episode, my friends. So I hope to see you there and have a nice night.